Hi everyone, very cute Jim here, and this is just an update to tell you you are going to watch session one of my what was my previous water deep campaign. So in my vlog, I talked about being becoming burnt out from my game, and I realized that I didn't give two dams about the water deep world and I realized that the only way to keep myself interested in running my Thursday game was to ask my players I gave them options saying if somebody else really likes water deep and wants to take over this game I am more than willing to hand over the reins I'm okay with that if somebody wanted to just stop playing, that was cool with me. Or we could move the campaign to Pandera, which is my homebrew world. And they got they didn't care. Uh, they actually were interested in playing new characters. Uh, everyone except one person. And yeah, so as for naming, this is going to be my Dighton campaign. Because I realized that after several years of doing this wrong, I want to do this right. So I want to really develop my world. And I realize I have to start from the city. I have all these countries, I have a good general history, but I don't have specifics for countries, or specific, well, really specific specifics for countries, or cities, or major cities, and I should have that. And that's what I'm going to plan on doing. I have placed my players in a major city, called Gen, Dighton, which you can think of as the Vatican of Pandera. Dighton is split up into eight provinces, uh, correlating with a specific god, uh, bar barring from the dwarven and elven deities. And the country is split up into eight pieces, eight provinces, and all the religious leaders live in a the capital called Gen, which itself is split into eight jurisdictions. Uh, the White Spire being where the meetings take place do not fall under a godly providence jurisdiction. So we have the players, we have my partner Brandon who will be playing Qualoth, the bronze dragonborn. We have my friend Chris who will be playing Picket, the black kobold. Uh, King Kong Kowloon uh, a wrestler-based monk will be played by my good friend Ryan. Uh, Richard Smith, played by my good friend Rhiannon, a cleric of an unspecified deity. And Sean has decided to keep his old character, changing him up a bit. He will be playing him as a changeling, which I've had in my previous games, and we had to talk to each other, as well as me talking to the, the individual playing Picket. We had to, I had to talk to them to customize their classes a little bit. Nothing too dramatic, just po changing, powering the um, the changeling down a bit, and Pickett boosting sats up a bit because Pickett is a kobold and they're rather wimpy unless you have them in a large horde. So I hope you enjoy this first session of Dighton, and I hope this goes a lot better than my previous campaign. You guys have an awesome day and enjoy. You guys, um, however, wherever your journeys have taken you, have somehow found yourself in the city of Gen, Dighton. Uh, as most of you know, who've who's lived here most of their lives, Dighton is pretty much the version of an enlarged Vatican, so to speak. Religion rules this region. It rules this country. It is split off into eight provinces, each get, paying homage to their respective deities, uh, which are listed in the God's handout. Uh, the only deities, the only good neutral deities that are not represented are Morden, uh, Sahine, and Corallon. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that that might stink. What? It could be. Could it be water damage? No. Yeah. It, 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 water... it, it work or it wouldn't. It would be like. Eh. Yeah, water damage would have been very. I doubt that would affect only a roll twenty. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. 
Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm just, I, he, he, yeah, I'm giving him a minute to reboot. So, Celine, you said doesn't have a presence here. Celine. She does not. She, she is primarily an elven deity. So okay. her main temples are found on the western continent of Norachon. Well, then who, what deity would be found in the grove right now? The grove is Melora's jurisdiction. Um, the goddess of wilderness, storms, and pretty much nature, um, so to speak. She is the equivalent of the nature goddess from um, Forgotten Realms, who's name i cannot recall this moment but that's her jurisdiction oh wilderness nature and sea um morden doesn't have a morden does, does not have a foothold here because the dwarven lands lie to the north of this continent um, does corlon have a presence here no he is also considered a elven, elven. deity he is also actually corlon in, in scripture is married to sahine Yep. So they're both dwarven deities. Well, they consisted of the elven pantheon that consisted of Loth, um, Coralon, and Sahine, but Loth broke off in the War of the Spider many, many okay. thousands of years ago. Um, so I've read all your backstories, and most of you have probably journeyed again because it is one of the largest capinos on the eastern continent of Blanchon, um, only probably second to population to Valido, which lies to the west. Um, the city of Gen is split into multiple quarters. Uh, the Grove is Malor's jurisdiction. Uh, the Vault of Knowledge is a grand library that Ayun it's under Ayun's jurisdiction, the Platinum Bastion, of course, for Bahamut, the Arena of Glory for Cord. The White Spire is actually not a jurisdiction, but is where the situated eight gather for meetings. Uh, these are the leaders of each other's prospective religions. Midnight Quarter is where the Catacombs lie, which is the Raven Queen. Uh, the Radiant Quarter, opposite of it, it's Pelor. And the Winter Catacombs is part of the Midnight Quarter. The Grand Bazaar is part of Avandra's uh, jurisdiction. Um, are the, are, and the fields are an area where food is grown for the majority of the population, um, where the magic of Melora and Pelor bless that land to bring up bountiful harvests each year. And I and the wall is pretty much a wall with huge ballistas on top of each guard tower, just in case something nasty that uh, wants to attack uh, again, which does happen from time to time. The area outside of the fields and directly east of the wall, where you see that forested area, is where a lot of nasty creatures tend to crop up and once in a while they do attack the wall but there hasn't been really a major attack since the war um, when Gadarn tr tried to conquer the rest of the world uh, that was a couple hundred years ago though there hasn't been any major damage since um, so I'm just gonna go down the line um, you guys are probably hanging around let's say the for this for all intents and purposes the platinum bastion which is bahamut's quarter and there is chris hi hello how are you hi. i don't know i thought it was good then my then uh this thing started going crazy okay so now that Chris is back, Chris, you are in Gen. Uh, I'm probably, you guys are probably wandering around the Platinum Bastion. Uh, this is the quarter devoted to Bahamut. Um, I explained that the other quarters, uh, the Radiant Quarter is Pelor's jurisdiction, the Midnight Quarter is the Raven Queen, uh, where the Winter Catacombs uh, are. Uh, the Arena of Glory is Cord's Quarter, 
the Grand Bazaar, Avandra's, the Vault of Knowledge, Ayun's, the Grove, Malora, and the fields is where they grow the majority of the food for the city, which is land blessed by Malora and Pelor. Um, the White Spire is the meeting place for the leaders of the perspective of the religions. They are called, each leader is called a situated. Uh, there are eight situated currently. Um, Morden, Corallon, and uh, Sihinan are not part of the providences or the city. Um, their presence is much, much smaller than the others because Coral and Sahine are elven deities and their bastions are in the elven lands of Dornathel and Nonlyre. Uh, Morden's main temple is located to the north in Ironfast where that's dwarven country. Okay, so you guys are probably in the Platinum, ba uh, Platinum Bastion. Uh, the Platinum Bastion in days of old was was dutied to produce weaponry, equipment, huge, huge, you know, siege machines for the war uh, of it for the war against Tiamat about 20 years ago. A lot of remnants of that still appear are here. There are many, many, many buildings and factories dedicated to the production of weapons for the army here, which is called the Steel Aegis. Um, and this is where Bahamut's oldest temple is located. It is a little more different from all the other quarters. It's a little more well kept, um, very neat. You see there are platinum dragon insignias everywhere. And as Cloth probably knows. Um, sweetie, can, can I ask you a question? No. Yes. I'll, I'm going to try to lower my voice, but my mic is echoing downstairs. What's your question? I, I, I'm confused. Is there a way to lower your mic pickup? Oh, lower my mic. No. Oh. What, 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 <laughs> is the chair? No, my voice is echoing downstairs. Let's talk again. Hi. I, I don't. No, I have headphones on. How can you? You can't be hearing your voice down here. No, I'm like confused. my voice is traveling downstairs, so your mic picks me up. Oh no! I, I let, me, let me see. Um. So many technical difficulties. <laughs> I know. For the record, rebooting seems to have helped. It hasn't crashed since. That's that's good. That's good. We we solved one. Um, I'll I'll how try about, to. How, how, about, how about now? Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, that's much hello. better. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you okay. fine. Great. Okay. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Thank you. So, I'm going to go down the line to each one of you. Um, Quelloth, you are probably there because you are part of the. No, I know exactly why I'm here. You know exactly. I was, I, I was escorting a high-ranked religious official again, and I'm an escort complete. I dropped him off again, and now I'm about to probably to return home or something. That was my backstory. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. I guess I didn't, I, I, I didn't read escort, yeah. uh, closely enough. Um, then you'd probably be resting at an inn. Um, you can choose one of the many lovely inns in the platinum in the platinum bastion, but the one that is probably the most popular is probably the Hearth Keepers Inn, located in the center of the platinum bastion. Okay, I probably something's classy, but uh, sorry. It's a little class. It's kind of classy. It's uh, the. It was kind of like Motel Six, or more like a Sheridan, or more like a Ritz. We're talking more like a sh a Marriott. All right. And like a Newton idea. Marriott. So that's all deductible it's for religious causes, so it's fine. Um, you will. Do, you do <laughs> notice that as you were marching your escort through the city gates, past the Arena of Glory, past the Grand Bazaar. The other part of the city is a little rough, um, rough and tumble. Uh, the people here dress in, like, warm... They're less fortunate. 
they're not as rich as the city of Valido, who is more catered to the nobles. It isn't as well structured as the city of Vox in Gadarn, which has a good infrastructure because they're more. It's like, like Lynn. I get it. Yes, it's pretty yeah, much like yeah. Lynn. But yeah, the um, Platinum Bastion is actually a better well to do place. You could think of Newton or Needham type of deal. Okay. Um, King Kong, Kowloon. How you doing? I'm doing lovely. Why do you think you would be in Gen? Um, well, I'm looking for my master. Ah, yes. Uh, master Lesnar, I see. Yeah. Brock Lesnar? Just no, Master Le Lesnar. Yeah, just Master. I only know him by Master. Yeah. Master <laughs> Lesnar. Um, okay. You probably arrived in Gen looking for your master. The Arena of Glory, which is Kord's sector, is a very well-known place where people test themselves uh, physically. Um, uh, the Arena of Glory, there is a religious uh, temple devoted to Kord there. Uh, again, the oldest temple known to Kord is there. And there are people who take... Um, take a try to how to speak prove themselves in religious tournaments however that's usually used for special occasions there is the pit which is a rough and tumble fighting arena um and you tried to find your master there you actually give me a give me a Mm, what is streetwise in this game now? I can't quite remember. Um, investigation? Probably, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Give me an investigation roll, Ryan. Okay, awesome. Um, you ask around for anybody who's heard of Master Lesnar. And you come across a couple people who have heard of him but it doesn't seem he's been in this area they you know they've heard of his school of the suplex but they haven't you know he is legendary but he ha he hasn't they ha nobody has seen or seen anybody of the man you are describing they're all of no use to me, then. They yeah. deserve to be suplexed. <laughs> <laughs> However, there is one individual, a, you know, you caught a miner on the road, and he had mentioned that he might have seen somebody like that at the Hearthkeeper Inn. Um, in the mine. What? The miner. He saw him in the mine, because no, he's a miner. He, he, no, 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 no. He, 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 he said he saw he might have seen him, you know, he might have asked directions from somebody to go to the Hearthkeeper Inn. He, he says the information he says is, I heard from a friend of a friend who said he claims to have met Master Lesnar, that Master Lesnar was headed towards the Platinum Bastion. Maybe you could check the inn there. A lot of people traverse to the inn. Who knows? All right, well, I'm going to make my way as quick as I can, then, to the inn. All right. Um, Richard. Hey. What would you be doing again? Uh, I kind of tripped into the inn. I'm not going to say what I was doing, but okay. I'm trying to get the crowd. Um, are there a lot of people around? In the inn or in the general... Very city? fitting, Chris. <laughs> in the um, in the inn, is there like a tavern type thing attached to it? Um, there yes, the the Hearthkeeper Inn does have a tavern. All right, so I'm in the tavern. Okay. Um, it, it is about midday, about two o'clock, the work day. Uh, Picket, there uh, is a map. Um, on well, the handout you, section? I was hoping for the, the link to the whole wiki again. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes, of course. Um, so, Rian, um, Richard, sorry. Um, yes, there are some people in there, but most of them are not, like, 
are you looking for anybody in particular? Uh, no, I'm trying to stop someone from looking for me. From what? You? Looking for me. Oh, um, make a perception check for me, please. Is it Master Lester? Uh, Lesnar. Lesnar? No. If it is, then she better watch out, she's about to get suplexed. <laughs> <laughs> I press the button. Come on. This is really slow. Or you can just okay. add your your wisdom and proficiency. Did that work? Yes. Yes, it did. Um so you're looking for somebody you're looking for somebody that you think may be looking for you or No 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 no. I'm not looking. I ducked into the tavern and there is Probably no one after me, but that's why I've gone in there. All right, so you're just time. you're just trying to blend in, and you're trying to just lay low, so to speak, right? Yes, and if it's slightly after lunch, I've probably what do they got for dessert in this place? Um, so you entered a tavern. There is uh, Quelloth. Would you be in the tavern having lunch, or I'll be in the tavern having a lunch. Okay. Uh, what about you? King Kong. Um, if if yeah, if I got there and I saw that they had quality uh, meat, then yes, I would have a meat tray. All right, well, I'll, I'll describe the tavern in a moment. Um, I have one meat. Pick it. Um, why did you think you would come again? I know I'm you. I'm trying are... to figure that out. Okay, I'll get I'll go I'll get to Ro I'll I'll, I'll go to uh, Rodin then. Uh, Rowden. Huh? Rowden? Rowden. Rowden. Loading so slow, <laughs> slow. Rowden, you, why did you come to Gen? Uh, I came to visit the Grand Bazaar. Ah, I ah, I was doing a little shopping. I have to work on my instrument. Okay, are you looking, looking for anything in particular? The Grand Bazaar is a very large, open market you can think of it as a very nice a nicer version of a large flea market there are vendors throughout the day trying to sell silk spices there is the scent of you know street food cooked meats um and other delicacies that waif in the air to, to feed the hungry shoppers and you are looking for what exactly uh, I am looking for magical gut. Magical gut, I see. Give me a perception check, please. Or if you wish to grab somebody along, just walking along the road, ask them, you know, where can I find somebody that to that sells magic? Ooh. Oh, and wow. so it begins. Okay. So, through your keen eyes, you look among the st skulls, and your eyes settle on a older woman. She has a couple front teeth missing, really stringing hair. She's sitting behind a booth with different parts of strange animals. With your eyes, you see like you there is an umbo hulk head that is set placed um, to the right of her. There is also parts of some kind of lizard. You're not sure what they are um, that are being dried um, above her. And she's sitting there and she has her hands folded and she's looking out with her, it seems slightly late, like veil left eye it, it seems she has some kind of cat like huge cataract in her left eye but you know she's looking around seeing if anybody is looking at her rares and then she um let's see she will she she makes eye contact with you and gives you a look over and you know beckons her towards beckons you towards her booth I shall approach. All right. Ah, good day. How are you a uh, like man that needs something special? Do you would you be interested in a you know in 
in any basilisk parts or any, you know, I have parts of an umbor hulk that I have acquired recently. I have, I have pieces of a boulette, if that is your fancy. I had a question. What's a boulette? It's a land shark. It's a tunneling animal that goes underground and pretty much eats caravans and whatnot. It, their, their hide is tough. Sometimes they could be found in the under dark, but also they could be found in deserts. I look at the basilic. I'm looking for nice strings of basilic internal. The, the parts she has on display are seem to be claw parts, um, skin um, skin shavings from the hide, not gut per se. Um, if she was selling fresh gut, it would probably be preserved somewhere in her booth. If she was selling, you know, dry, already tempered gut, it may be in the back. You, you're not sure. Um, but w you do peer behind her and you see rows and rows and baskets and baskets of dried animal parts and preserved eyes. And you think you see a troll penis, but you're not sure. I don't want to know why I know what a troll penis is. I was going to ask that. <laughs> But, I mean, they look like pretty much everybody else. I leave it to your imagination. <laughs> I go, uh, mm -hmm. my lady, do you don't happen to have any basilisk gut? Do you by any chance? Basilisk gut. Hmm. I. Hmm, give me one moment. She just ducks under her, and you hear her hear the movement of glass and some what you think is more baskets underneath her her booth and she's like well i don't seem to have some basculus gut currently but if you come back in uh maybe a few days i might be able to procure some oh thank you very much may uh -oh. i have a name my name is Rodrin. Rodrin, I see. And she, she, she takes out a piece of parchment and she starts, you know, just writing down the name. And uh, how much gut are you looking to purchase? Eight, eight, nine strings worth about yay length. Mm. About a meter length. If you, with a deposit of five gold pieces um i it i it will cost you 10 in total um if you leave that here i can hold it for you and it will be here i can have my man get it in a few four maybe three days i will run a roll insight to see how much i kind of trust her okay um just roll i, I don't Okay. It, at least it's not the other number. See, I got a 20 and I went straight to one. <laughs> she seems genuine. She doesn't, you, you don't think she is, li she doesn't have a reason to lie to you. She, 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 you think, you know, because she has the parts of the basket, parts of a basculus already. Uh, she then will. They just need to be rendered. Yeah, it. She. She. It's. It. It looks like if she has access to Basculus, she seems like she doesn't have a problem getting more of it. Okay, I will give her the five gold coins. Excellent. Uh, by the way, my my name is J Juliana, uh, and my shop is. You know, dry. I, I, I lovingly call my shop um, dry bits and pieces. I don't get much business. <laughs> <laughs> Only from alchemists, however. Alchemists are mostly what I, who I deal with. Ah, I've dealt with a few alchemists. They are an interesting sort. They do. They want the strangest things. One person wanted a, a troll penis. I am not sure what this man needs a troll penis for. And well, he my asked, lady, he asked, my lady, it's often best not to know. That is true. 
Um, and may I inquire what inn you'll be staying? If I get the parts early, uh, where are you staying currently so I can send the message to you? I think I'll be in the Platinum Bastard. Bastard? Bastion. Bastion. I'm sorry. I, I hear there's a... It's a pretty nice inn up that way. Yeah, it's 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 like I hear it's like the Marriott of the <laughs> Platinum Quarter. Yes, I will I will send word to you if the parts come early. Sometimes they do. I say, th I, I wish you the best of fortunes and have yourself a great day. And tell your friends about Juliana's dry bits and pieces. I'm sure I will let all that I know, everyone that I know, know about it. Very good. Have a nice day. She gives you this toothy smile. Well, what's left of her teeth? She gives you this toothy smile, and you see their her teeth are stained yellow from probably years of not very good dental care. And there's a fishy smell that emanates from her mouth when she smiles quite wide. Is that what troll penis smells like? <laughs> You're not there, so you don't know what troll penis I'm just kidding. 